Today we're running the third Future Stars of Kelly Education Day. These are for athletes that have won medals at the school championships around the country. They've been invited back to give them the education of what it's going to take uh, for their season preparation for 2011. We've had a raft of uh, presenters coming today who are going to help not only the athletes but the parents and the coaches give them some other guidance and some tips of how they can go forward with the day. I think it's underestimated how much food plays a part, the right foods at the right time for the right reason. So giving you energy to perform, uh, push yourself to the limits and having the right foods to recover so that you can go and train again. What we're trying to do is put across to the athletes the importance of nutrition for their sports performance and how they can best use nutrition to perform the best that they can. Um, we're looking to really look at training things they can do or maybe just change their diet slightly that could get large improvements in performance. Um, because a lot of the parents, they're responsible for what their athletes eat because they're the ones who go to the supermarket and buy the things they do. It's really interesting to see what kind of foods we should eat before a race, between races, because obviously now we're getting to that standard where we're having to do races on the same day. It's quite interesting to know what we should have between races to still be in the best shape possible. Um, the thing I've really found quite thought-provoking really has been some of the parenting skills uh, and you don't realise just how difficult it is to be a parent. Uh, we, you know, we're not trained for this sort of thing, we, we didn't ask to have really talented children, we're just happy, you know, happy to have them but it's very difficult looking after them in the right way to make them develop. I just met a coach that I'd never met before and an exchange of ideas with another coach was really useful to get that opportunity. There's so many tips about training and preparation before a race and it's just really useful and just a really good kickstart to the season. Uh, various media workshops, they will at some stage get asked to talk to a camera, to a local newspaper, and we need to make sure that they can uh, speak articulate again for people to understand who they are, using choice of language that they use, words that benefit the interview techniques. And I think they probably learn a lot. I had many injuries for different reasons and I had to supplement my training with another form of exercise and I absolutely believe aqua jogging is one of the best ways to keep an athlete healthy, fit, strong, motivated during times of injury, uh, for rehabilitation of injury or just to take the pressures off from the track. I've only ever done it once but I've never done it with uh, Kelly Holmes, she's obviously done it a lot in her time as she had to go through a lot of injuries and it will be good to know Active jogging for the future is that uh, we're always going to get injured, so it'd be just good to know. It's a thing that I try to encourage some of the athletes to do when they're um, injured, but they don't really know what to do, and so I'll certainly be able to help them more with that in the future. For Rona, I think it's just so inspirational to come to something like this and feel so, so valued. Future missions, oh, if I ever run, it's always Olympics, but I just want to get a GB vest, I think that would be really amazing. Uh, well, we, we, we're hoping that she just continues her athletics career. Uh, we really just want her to be happy, healthy, enjoy running, really. For this third Future Stars of Kelly event, we had the biggest turnout we ever had. Parents, coaches and athletes. It was a great day, and I absolutely um, assure they've learned at least one thing.